I am home. And these are the shelves I got on our Captiva trip. Not This bag's not as full as it usually is on a trip. Um, I had fun shelling on Captiva, but I definitely didn't find as many shells uh, that I wanted to keep as I did on Sanibel. Um, don't get me wrong, Captiva is still a very nice island, but uh, it just reinforced in my mind I prefer Sanibel over Captiva. It's my personal preference. And then if you watch my vlogs, you know this is like a starfish and some like uh, seaweed and stuff. Uh, it's not squished at all. It made at home in my suitcase, no problem. I'm just gonna let this sun dry for a little bit, um, but not too long. Uh, if you, when you sun dry stuff at home, shells are okay, but if you have like other sea life, you have to watch it because if you have squirrels, they will run off with your sea life. Like, you're, if it's starfish, I have to be careful. These squirrels will steal the starfish. So. Um, but I still want to sun dry it for a day or two. I will just keep an eye on it. Um, it was already dry, but the starfish was already dry. Uh, but it had a slight smell, um, so I just wanted to air it out for a couple days before I put it in my bathroom. And then I'm going to wash these. I've actually been home for two days, and I'm going to wash these today. It's the quickest I ever wash shells. Usually when I get home from vacation, I put this in the garage, and it sits there for a couple months till my next trip. But um, I'm making a little souvenir seashell bottle and I had put the shells aside when I was cleaning these in the hotel, but I didn't put enough aside. So I really want to get that project done and so that's giving me a kick in the pants to get this done so I can clean these and uh, pull out the itty bitty shells for this bottle. So I, if you watch my vlogs, I did a pretty good job of cleaning these at the hotel but I don't want to skip that final step of that bleach step that I always do when I get home. So I am going to clean them again um, with my, what was it, 60%, no wait, it's 80% water, 20% bleach, something like that. Um, more for personal preference and so I'm going to go get the buckets, go get the bleach. It is a beautiful day. I, these are all my plants. I was worried when I was gone because um, I did not ask the pet sitter to water them but luckily it rained the whole time I was gone and so my plants look amazing see look at this these are banana peppers so anyway I'm rambling again let me get back to the original topic cleaning my seashells cleaning the shells I took out two of my buckets that I have exclusively for cleaning shells put in the bleach I ended up doing 40% bleach, 60% water. Um, I just want to make sure these are super clean. They're a little more stinky. There's nothing that has live creatures in it, so I'm not for sure why they're a little more stinky, but just a little more bleach than normal. They're gonna sit out here for an hour, and then I'm gonna rinse them off. Um, Ziploc baggies, they look a little wet because it did rain a little today before I had a chance to put them in the buckets. I do not save those bags. I definitely throw them away each time. But this bucket, I love my seashelling bag. Someone asked once where I got it. This is from Michaels a couple years ago. I love it. Um, if I ever saw any more, I would definitely buy more. They are extremely handy and it fits into my suitcase perfectly. I'm also out of bleach, so I'm gonna have to buy more bleach, but I don't have another beach trip planned for a couple more months, so that can wait. All right, they've been soaking for a couple hours now. I'm just gonna rinse them off in the yard. It's bleach water. I could do it in the house, but it's just easier to do it out here because I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done rinsing them off, I spread them out on a beach towel and then um, let them dry. Actually, I keep using the same towel because it's got bleach stains on it now. So yeah, now I specifically have a shell cleaning towel. So, Kind of ruined it with the bleach. Alright, here are the shells spread out on a beach towel. Um, I'm only going to leave them out here for a couple hours to dry. We are supposed to get a lot of rain for the next five days. I usually like to sort them out on the porch, but with the rain coming, I'm going to let these dry for a couple hours. Get a a box to put them in 
and then I'm gonna run to Hobby Lobby this week because I just really don't have any jars I like at the moment to display them in. So I need to go to Hobby Lobby and find some new decorative jars. Hobby Lobby is my favorite place to find jars. Remember, I usually put all these shelves in my bathroom, so I just want decor, nautical decor that goes with my bathroom. Hobby Lobby usually has a great selection of jars. I haven't been there since this whole pandemic started. Uh, they were closed for the longest time, but I think they're back open. I hope so. And then I definitely have to get a new container to put all my worms in because I actually found a whole bunch of worms this time. And if you watched my last cleaning shelling video, I filled up my display box that I had been storing worms in. So I need a new one. This is very pretty. I don't remember picking that one up. There's a couple shells. This strip, I definitely found a couple new shells that I hadn't found before. I wanted to pull that one to show my husband. We were looking at the shell guide last night. Here it is. This one. Completely flat. I'm going to go show Robert. See if he can read. Oops. As I drop it. I know I got two of them. That way he can research it and see what it is. Put that right there for a second. And then there's that cone I was excited about. Lots of cool shells. All right, I'm gonna let these dry. Go show this to my husband. And then off to Hobby Lobby sometime this week. I will add, the end of this video is not over with. I'm gonna add, um, once I find a jar to put all these in, I will show you um, what I end up buying at Hobby Lobby. Here are the jars that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, honestly, this trip to Hobby Lobby, I wasn't impressed um, with their jar selection. So these are actually candle holders, but luckily these inserts pull out and so um, I'm not going to use them. And so these jars I think were 40% off. Um, so this one was $11.99, 40% off, $11.99, 40% off, and then this one was $14.99, 40% off. So there was a couple other jars that I really liked, but they were expensive and they were not on sale. So just the sales this week just wasn't really that good. And so this is, I didn't want to like wait and come back later in a different week. So I did go ahead and buy these. They're not bad. They're just not like my first choice. I'm just not spending $60 on, a, on one jar. So we got these three jars. This is my shelves cleaned. It's actually a lot more than I thought. Um, so actually, it's these three jars are not going to be filled up completely. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I will put these back in and put one like a light up candle. Um, not like a battery powered light up candle, not a real candle, a battery powered light up candle. Um, I could do that. I could work the shelves around that. We'll see. Let me get those filled up because I'm going to pull out smaller shelves. Remember, this is the shell bottle I made and I just don't feel like it has enough shelves in it. And then um, I'm also going to pull out one of each variety and do a separate video showing um, the different kinds of shells you can find in Sanibel and their specific names. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting a lot more than I was expecting. So I'm really happy with that. And then I'm going to do a separate video. I have an idea on how I'm going to dis display these in our guest bathroom. That's what this crate is for. And so I'll do a separate video after it's all done showing these jars displayed in the bathroom with my little decorating idea. And then I also have these coconuts. My, my husband got a coconut the other day and he just cracked it open and I kept the shell because I kind of, if I don't use it on this idea, I'll use it later. But I don't know, I just thought these would be cute, you know, filling those with shells, putting them on a counter in the bathroom, I don't know. So yeah, this is just a store-bought coconut that Robert cracked open. Um, we did find a coconut on this trip to Sanibel, but it still had the green shell around it. So I've done a lot of research on coconuts and they're, they don't get this brown stage for at least over a year and so coconuts take a long time to ripen if you're looking for the meat so the coconuts you find on the ground um, in Sanibel and Captiva don't have meat yet because they're not old enough and so they don't really have this nice shell yet um, so you can't really like keep them for decoration um, because they have to ripe 
on the tree. Once they've fallen on the ground, they're not gonna ripen anymore. So, but honestly, if you want coconut decorations, just go to the grocery store. This coconut was like $1.99. It was easy to crack open. Robert snacked on the coconut meat for a while, but you know what, I'm going on a tangent. Let me fill these jars and I will show you when I'm done. All right, I finished sorting the shells. They actually only filled two jars and they're not completely full. Ended up not using this third one. I'm sure I'll use it for something else. Um, but I'm very happy with how they turned out. I did not put every single shell in there. I added more small ones to my collector souvenir bottle. And then I tried to keep one of each shell separate because I want to do like a separate identification video. And then these are my favorite. I love the little spirals, so I kept them all separate. Um, I think I'm going to put them in like a little box. Um, and then I did find two pieces of sea glass this trip. This one is nice and weathered. This one is not. Um, so it's got a little, little weathering to it, but it could, it could be tumbled a little more. So I might tumble next time I just tumble some sea glass. I will add that to the batch, but I'll keep this one cause this one is not sharp. And anyway, so these are set aside for future projects. These are done and in the jars, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So that's it. Those are these are my shells from Captiva. I had a great time collecting them all, um, and I will do a separate video showing how I display these in one of my bathrooms. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.